Hey, so in the last part we've made this uh, single trail. Uh, let me isolate that for you. That one exactly. Um, and I've exported it into the engine just to see how it might look. And those are the results. In this tutorial, we'll be looking into the double trail. So let me just change it. We will aim to get something like this basically. Okay, so we're gonna continue where we finished um, in the previous part and we just try to get this double trail and also we're probably gonna create a couple variations of that trail and we're probably gonna get rid of the uh, the inside bits and uh, there might be some couple tips and tricks for you in uh, substance. So um, yeah, let's go to substance now. Okay, so this is exactly what we had uh, in the previous part which is this trail and we just offsetting this using the transform node just to double check if it's actually useful uh, if it might be useful in the engine okay so those are the results and now let's maybe pick up from here from our warp node and let's try to create a double trail so let's run it through transformation uh, node copy and paste uh, on the second one let's offset it and now we can uh, blend those together and see if this could work so I'm gonna offset this one um, let me change the blend node to add first I want to offset this one to maybe minus 0.2 on the Y and that one on 0.2 on Y, okay? So it seems like this one is actually going a little bit uh, close to the border of the texture so I'm just gonna keep it maybe on 0.15 and that one on minus 1.5 Okay, and let's see if this could work So I think those two might be actually a little bit too close uh, together. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I mean, if you don't wanna mm, adjust your previous trail, you could just select this, copy and paste, and work from there. But I'm not to bother about this, so I'm just gonna select my cross section here. And I'm just gonna adjust it so I could get a little bit different shape of the trails. Seems like I'm getting good results. Uh, maybe something like uh, this. And now I probably want to adjust my histogram scans, uh, which I've got here. And the other one as well, just to see if I could get better results. Okay, so I've ended up with this. Now I can go back and actually tweak uh, those offsets to 0.2 and minus 0.2. And we essentially got this. And so now what we could do, we could uh, get our setup from the previous video, copy and paste it here, and just plug it in. So we've got glow and I think our trapezoid and uh, bottom stretch is a little bit too much so I'm just gonna bring it to maybe minus 0.1 now and I'm just gonna select this transform node and adjust it and see how it looks so we're getting a lot more details which is cool and I think this is what we want um, let me bring those nodes a little bit closer together this and uh, now I'm just gonna show you a couple tips and tricks what I usually do when I'm creating those double trails 
Okay, so let's maybe try to get rid of the center bit from it. So I'm gonna run it through histogram scan. Or maybe bevel uh, before I do that. Or maybe not. Let's stick with the histogram scan. So I'm just gonna uh, ramp up the position, the contrast as well. Now I've got like a clean shape of that trail and I'm gonna run it through uh, bevel. So I could get a lot more control over it. And now histogram scan again. And I've got those kind of shapes. So now I can actually uh, blend it. Use subtract node on that blend node. Change the order of it, maybe. Or actually, let me go back. Yep, this, and now I can tweak this histogram scan. So if I want to get rid of just a little bit, I can control the position of it. And this is to create a much softer subtraction. But what I like to do before is to run it through blur, and I can have a separate control. For the erosion okay oops so maybe i just want to do this basically now we can plug this in so we can see how it might look as you can see we're kind of getting those really cool shapes and uh, being eroded from here and now if i go back to transform and try to offset it you can see how it could look when it's moving in the engine. Okay, what I think it's missing is the, the highlight uh, on that trail actually. So I'm just gonna um, copy and paste this histogram scan. Get into something like this maybe. Select this one, run it through bevel, so you could get those insights basically. And now histogram scan. And we're getting like those cool shapes that could serve us as a highlight and the high temperature in our texture, okay? So I'm just gonna blend it together now. In the blend now, I'm actually gonna go for the add and plug this back in. And as you can see in our colors, we're getting those really nice bright uh, colors uh, here. Obviously we can reduce our blur, so that will be a lot more clear. And we're essentially getting that kind of trial. Okay, maybe there's possibly too many details, but uh, let me put this into the engine now so we actually can uh, preview how it looks and edit it if we have to. So I'm gonna select this uh, blur grayscale, copy to clipboard, and export it into the engine. Okay, so this is our single trial, and our double trails look like this. And obviously they kind of look broken and I'll tell you why. Basically you can see we got like this harsh line here and this is because our noise actually offsetting the texture a little bit too much. Okay, so if you look at the texture and we go to the substance, I think those um, those trails are actually too close to the border of the textures. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this transform I'm sorry, from the blur actually. Okay, so I'm gonna get this, run it through another transform, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, hold shift. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold control and shift and scale it down so I get a lot more space in this area. And I, obviously, I'm gonna disable the tiling on that uh, node as well. Okay, so I'm essentially getting this. So let me export this back to the engine now. 
Okay, so I re-imported that texture. As you can see, we've got a lot more space at the top and the bottom. And I think this looks um, a lot better uh, than, uh, than the previous iteration we had. Okay, so let me enable um, previous trails. So the whole system actually looks like this. Okay, another bit will be to go back to the substance and maybe export this trail without eroding the middle bits. So it will be actually uh, this texture. So I'm just gonna plug this one in, in the, into this transform uh, and get that texture from here. Okay, so I've imported all the textures that we've uh, done so far in Substance. So this is the double trail uh, with the eroded insides. And now I'm gonna switch it to uh, the full trail, so we actually don't get rid of the uh, the middle bits from that trail. And uh, I think those both of those textures actually look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the results I've got and. I hope it kind of gives you some sort of ideas how to create those textures because I find them very useful um, in the engine actually. And I really like those trails. Um, so yeah, in the next part we're just gonna uh, look how to create this texture. So that will be trail number 4 texture. And, uh, and yeah, and I think we can quickly progress from that texture to this one as well. So I try to, in the next part, I'll try to just, you know, create those two in one video rather than splitting it into uh, two parts, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next part.